We are currently living the fourth wave of feminism, which at its best promotes equality no matter gender, race or nationality. The issue paradox with feminism now is that we have allowed extremists such a platform that their views are leaking over, but it comes from both sides. The same women who are preaching a man bashing and exclusion are just as bad as the women who are denouncing any form of feminism to be accepted by the male population. In Greta Gerwig's film, for example, there is some active erasure of the male characters. When Jo is talking with Marmy about her anger, Marmy tells how she has learned to control it all by herself. In the book she mentions that her husband has helped her on the way. In the movie Aunt March is a rich spinster, and much sweeter than in the books. Recent adaptations have really toned her down. And Uncle March was the brother of Reverend March. Joe's father, but in Gerwig's film, Aunt March is the sister of Joe's father, which is not in the canon. And the more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. For the record, feminism by definition is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It is the theory of the political, economic and social equality of the sexes. Jo remembered the kind old gentleman who used to let her build railroads and bridges with his big dictionaries, tell her stories about the queer pictures in Latin books and buy her carts of gingerbread whenever he met her in the street. The dim dusty room with the bust staring down from the tall bookcases, the cozy chairs, the globes and best of all the wilderness of books in which she could wander where she liked made the library a region of bliss. In the book Jo had very fond memories of uncle. He was kind, liked kids and had a big library. In fact his and Aunt March relationship was quite similar to Jo and Friedrich. Same way as Jo. Aunt March has a sharp tongue and a quick temper. She doesn't get along with Jo because she sees so much of herself in her. Friedrich's character is reduced. In the earlier version of the script there was more of him, plus he was German. Louisa May Alcott loved men. I doubt she would have been very happy about erasing the male characters. There's the famous quote from her it was when she was asked to write Little Woman and she said that she never liked, cared or understood girls only her sisters. Plus she was a Germanophile. Louisa was part of the movement that later on developed into what we now call as the first wave of feminism. A egalitarian marriage based on love was a radical act because it supported the autonomy and mutual growth and development of both parties, whereas marriage based on economic reasons was the opposite and prevented women's autonomy. Most of Louisa's novels are in fact semi-biographical and in her text she promotes her form of radical marriage. Plays she wrote in her adolescence period shows that she had similar relationship goals for herself. Quote from Louisa battling her own canoe and not being afraid of storms is in fact said by Amy in the book. Louisa wrote it soon after her sister Anna got engaged. During the next eight years her views about marriage did become more favorable witnessing her brother-in-law John's fulfillment of his roles as a husband and a father clearly impacted the way she portrays marriages in part 2. Thank you for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and feel free to share it in your social medias. Subscribe to my channel Small Umbrella in the Ray. I make videos about Little Woman and Louisa May Alcott's fixation with umbrellas. My current studies evolve around Friedrich's character. If you wish to find out more about Louisa's love for Germany and the men who Louisa was in love with and who inspired his character, head over to my blog. Link to my research can be found from the description. There is also a list of all the sources made by Alcott schoolers that I have used if you wish to do some further reading. Auf Wiedersehen!